Hey everyone, Itaro here, bringing you to the next part of Legend of the Gaia, where we last left off. We got confronted by the Deliuses at the Gate of Shadows. Now we are having to remember the code for whether or not these uh, statue island heads are either going to grant us access to the flower, or if we're just going to get fucked up. So, I remember part of it. It's Earth... Yellow, green, blue, I think it's blue, red. Oh, please let it be right. Oh, we ran into something here. What are we going to run into? I've never run into anything here. Or if I did, I don't remember. Oh, dear God, it's Xanowar level two. Kind of looks like a freaking green goblin booger. That really looks like to me. I'm very tired. <laughs> Alright, let's get this show on the road. There's no brakes on the record train. Once you start, you can't stop. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can stop, but, you know, there's got to be, like, about an hour difference between where you are and where you're going to stop. Okay, they are bulky as hell, and I like to point out that one took 60 less damage than the other one. Oh god, no, save me. Oh, huh? No. Okay, I did spear it, alright. Yeah. Grabby, 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 and I block it on because I can. Oh Christ, I forgot what the last one is. Uh, the, the last one was blue, this one's red, this one's red. Please let it be right. I don't want to face what's here. Oh, God damn it! Of course, this Xenor's like, hey, I'm just gonna stay over here because I use Fire Claw and I'm smart. No, you're not. You're gonna die. Okay. Uh, what can I use with you? Okay, I'll just use Rushing Gale. And then you can just use... Wait, no. What was that? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Well done. That's the reason why I kind of use magic and arts together, because of the- Ooh, great level, great, great level up. Oh, right. Didn't I get knocked out during one boss fight or something like that? I think I did. That's not good. Ooh, not at all. My levels are all screwed up right now. Oh, next battle I level up. Okay, cool. 7,000 XP? They, they just want you to stay here forever. Okay, it was blue, so this one's right. Please let it be right. Please let it be right. I beg of thee, let it be right. Yes! Oh my god, success! Yes! I didn't want to... The thi here's the thing. The only thing that's actually here is if you get it wrong is a mini-boss that is not worth it by any means. Yadara, look, it's moving. The stone is moving. This is so exciting. It has more HP than Zeto, but only gives 250 gold and XP. It's not worth it. What kind of internal mechanism is this? Also, if you're playing this game, this part has the most vibration ever I have ever experienced in a game. Like, it is ridiculous. Because uh, it's simulating the mechanisms and how much it, this is actually moving the earth underneath it. Oh, wow, look, Atara. Look, the big stone flower opened. Atara, look, at the center, there's a strange thing is moving. That must be the entrance to the path leading to underground Octum. Okay, now, an important thing to note here. This is where you get no, uh, Hilda's next spell. Get rid of that forest family. Put that ivory book on. Let's have some fun. All right. The butt on the stone has a small hole and writing. Know well that the star of pearl opens the door to the past. Do you wish to throw the star of pearl into the small hole? Not really, because that's a big intelligence boost, but we gotta. The door opened. You know, give him credit for at least trying to make a transition between elevator going up and elevator going down with a clear plastic coating. All right. We are now in the Underground Octum Path. Pretty cheery music, I must say, but there's just one problem with this area. 
There are a lot of if and ands, and every- Oh my god, of course, they're both fucking- You can hear the angst already in my voice. The reason why there's a lot of angst is because this is a very highly populated enemy area. Now, this usually wouldn't be that much of a problem. Except for the fact that no matter what it is that you're trying to do, if you want the items that are here, you're going to have to fight a lot. Because everything in this damn area is a path going left and right, depending on which one it is. But thankfully, it doesn't make you have to go very far. That was not English. I don't think you don't have to go very, very far. You can actually, uh, you can actually go relatively, like, through one door, and then the next door will have the treasure, or something like that. It's not this convoluted spiral of just DNA, I hate you. Now, if you're wondering why I say DNA, I hate you, is because I've actually played a few RPGs where it's like, who the hell would think of going down this staircase going down the right way, going the wrong way, then going the right way after you've gone the wrong way. Who, who does that? And thankfully I leveled up, so, you know, makes this all the better. But I will try and run from every fight, because there is a spell here specifically that I need for no, for Hilda. Noah. Bleh. Alright, where's the magic in the Okay, cool. Put that on you. The reason why I did that is because she's going to need a lot of MP to cast this spell. Oh, thank you. Yay, a healing flower. What's this one? I don't trust it. I think that's the way we gotta go. I'm gonna go back up into the left. Yes, prepare for backtracking galore here to try and get every item, because... This is probably the most... labor-intensive dungeon there is? I guess would be the proper word? I don't know. I, I really can't think of the right word. There it is! Nova! That's what we're looking for. Nova. Freaking goddamn cockroach. Nova is actually pretty damn good. I cannot deny it. Like, I, I thoroughly enjoy Nova because its animation is very simple, but the damage it does is outstanding. Now that you're dead, I don't have to worry about freaking getting poisoned by a damn pufferfish. Also, if you've ever seen Starship Troopers, this will give you horrible flashbacks. Alright, we're gonna Tempest Break this thing, and I don't know what else we're gonna do. Uh, what else can I do with you? Nothing? Okay. I accept these terms and conditions. Alright, I got it. Thank you, Ivory. Man, I love that item. And when I was younger, I didn't even know what it did. It just said, increase magic accurate. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, well, I don't know what that means. It's like, what? Like, my magic is going to actually hit bosses and stuff like that and lower their agility and stuff? And it's like, no. It's literally going to make your life the easiest thing possible when harvesting for spells. And I'm glad I came to left. Look, another freaking healing flower. Healing flowers heal for 800 HP. So... At this point in the game, that's pretty much a full heal on enemy character. And I'm glad I went that way, because those things are expensive. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the power that is Nova, so that way you guys get an accurate understanding on how prominent this spell is. That's the one thing I never understood. They give you Nova, but they gave you Sorty not even like two things ago. <laughs> It made, to me, it made absolutely no sense. You know, why give a sortie when Nova's right here? It's like, I think it's like 12 more MP, and you do, like, it was like 500 damage, right? For sortie, 500, 500. And here's Nova's damage. Violent wind! Eight hundred damage. Yes. To me, that's not bad at all. Wow, you live. How did you oh, live? Yeah. Why did you live? That's the most important question. No, I don't want to run. I want to fight. This is easy XP. Give me that. 
You are not robbing me of 300 gold. 400. 300? It's something. Oh, it <laughs> He was like, fuck this! I got away! You can't hang it! Fucking asshole. What an asshole mushroom. Alright, we are going to continue on forward here because just duh. Please don't let me run it. Okay, good. I actually made progress. Oh, oh of course. Like I said, I will run from everything if possible, but you know, I hope to God I can. Please let me run. Thank you. Praise be to Jeebus. And RNG. Let's see what we got going on here. Is this a good room or is this a bad room? That's a good room. Yay! Oh, a life ring. Sweet. All right. Uh, what the life ring does is I think it's an upgrade to this. No, it's the same exact thing. So now you actually have the chance to give more HP to Hilda or Raven. I'm gonna give it to Hilda because I can. Uh, give me one second here, people. I have a phone call, and I think it's an emergency, so give me one second here, please. Alright, everybody, I apologize for that. Uh, that was my friend, uh, Kitsu. She was having a little bit of a problem, and I had to make sure she was alright. Anyway, back to what we were doing prior. <laughs> you always gotta make sure your friends are, are okay, no matter who they are. We're gonna head to the left here after gathering that life ring, and, of course, we run right into a goddamn battle right out the gate. Blech. That's what I gotta say. Blech. Yeah, and I run away. Yeah, fuck you. It doesn't matter if they drop the thousand. Actually, that actually really would matter. Can you drop like about a thousand gold next time I kill you? Make me rich. Make me rich. I beg of thee. All right. Now I think it comes up to a point. Yeah. Shit. All right. Let's go down this way. What's in here? Of course, more stairs. Chest. Chest. Oh, Wonder Elixir. Awesome. Uh, I believe you can get Wonder Elixir another way in this game, but don't hold me to that. If anything, guys, make sure you hold on to your Wonder Elixirs because they will come in very, very handy for you at a future point. Because, oh my god, there's a bot. There's a secret boss here. Now, a lot of people are just, you know, they play it, they play it, they play it, they get everything done, they figured out this trick, that trick, and every other trick. For me, I would much, much rather actually do it as much, as fast as possible, but I will show the legit way to beat them, and also the, uh, what is it, the legit way to beat them, as well as the, uh, cheesy way to beat them. And it revolves around a couple of items, and so on and so forth. It's not too bad, actually. So... What ends up, what'll end up happening is when it comes down to that part, I will show both cheese and without cheese. Uh, there's three ways you can actually do it. The one way you can do it is you can let the thing get its first move off, uh, then use a special item to actually vacate the battle. Uh, you can also do literally just throw on every elixir known to man and pray that whoever you're powering up doesn't get hit and the third and legitimate way is actually using a variety of accessories and showing the fucking bird who's boss yes I really did mean the fucking bird um Christ almighty I hate this part so much because there's only one correct path, and this is what I was talking about with multiple paths going in multiple directions, and you don't know where the hell to go. Let me out of here. Good. Alright. Continuing on. Let's see what we got going on over here. Chest. Nope, that's the way we gotta go. Whore. 
I just want to be done and over with with this part. Not, just like this area. I hate this dungeon. There's only one other dungeon. Oh, I got ambushed. There's only actually one other dungeon or path like this that is just. It is literally the worst thing in this game, and that comes out at that that'll come at a much later point. But at the same token, it's like, ugh, why? Why you do this? Why is this a thing? It does not need to be a thing. But you know what? If it was all easy, it wouldn't be worth playing. So, why not? Uh, oh my god, I got, I've got to go all the fucking way around. Wait, that was the- wait, damn it! I thought that was- That was my fault. That was my fault. Oh, oh, really? Really now? Okay, so I can escape from a freaking hyper mushroom and a freaking th uh oh. God damn. That hurt my feelings. That really hurt my feelings. My feelings. Holy Christ, I am just out of it right now. Whew! Please, send back up. I beg of thee. Quick! I need a I need a let's play partner to tag into to actually help me with this. That actually knows this game. Send assistance. I knew that wasn't going to kill any of them, but I think it grouped them together. Yes, it did. Good. Oh, thank you. You didn't curse me. That ultrasound has a second a secondary effect where it actually curses you. Now you might remember actually getting a curse amulet of some sort at the uh, uh, at the forest. Well, what ends up? Oh, please tell me that I killed you both. Yes, it did. I can see two different particle shatters. Um, what ends up happening is uh, when you're cursed, you can't use your raw set root. And when you can't use your raw set root, it actually has put your attack back to where the parentheses are. I don't understand why it does that, but that's what Curse does. It's really, really annoying because of the fact that your ability- Wow, that was a pretty good heal right there. Your abilities- or what is it? Your Rasaru being sealed doesn't mean you can't use your freaking sword. I'm sorry, but that logic right there needs to be a- needs to be a kind of seen through right there. Uh, okay, we gotta- Please don't be a Nova and a warm Warfish or whatever the goddamn thing it is. Okay, this I can escape from. This let me escape last time. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy lord. I might, I'm actually gonna put, uh, what is it, that Swift Water I got earlier? I'm actually gonna use that right now and see if I can, uh, see if it'll help me actually escape some battles easier. 101 speed, wow. Also, I'd like to point out that Hilda still gets to act first, even though I have 20 more speed than her. Ooh, a fury boost. Sweet. Oh, goddammit. This is what I was talking about earlier, where now that you have an objective, or now that you're exploring something, this is when you run into every battle known to man. Oh, thank you. I think I still have another one of these freaking parts to go. These little dungeons right here. Holy no, please. I beg of you. Please let this be the only one. <laughs> oh, I can go two separate ways? I'm gonna go up here. Chest! Shield elixir! Yes. Alright, uh, drop down, drop up. Did I say drop up or jump up? I don't know. Okay, I couldn't run from this before. Can I run from it now? No, I cannot. I am still too slow. Alright, just get it over with. Oh, Scythe Wind. Lovely. Keep it on. Oh, okay, it's on rating. Yay. Alright. Uh, we are going to use Gimard on the Nova. We are going to use that on you, and we're gonna use theater on the you. Ooh, 
now that he fell, because he fell back so far, oh wait, nope, never mind, Gimard's going first. I was expecting that the turning laser would actually hit both of them and just, you know, make it easier on me. 367, not bad. The Gimard is still a very valuable spell, even now. 10 MP and, like, nearly 400 damage, and you don't have to worry about, about it too much. Okay, now the theater placement is important. Where's it going to be? Please be. Let's see here. Yes! Perfect! Yes! Worked out. Yes. <laughs> Alright, and now we continue on to our journey to actually get to where we need to go. Okay, I might be thinking of this wrong, but I think there's only mo only three more screen transitions from here. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but it's actually not. No, we're here! Sweet! We got here! I'll take it. Hell yes. Wow! Sorry for that voice crack. Holy Christ. Guitar, rated over here. There's a whole lot of people over here. Ah, this must be the caverns under under Octum. Octum, that means Harry must be here. He's the one who can tell me what my dreams mean. He must be here, right? Si, sí, senor, senorita. I almost said si, sí, senor. <laughs> let's go, let's go find Harry. Shut up, train. Nobody will ask you. Oh, save point. Oh, thank you. I thought I was going to have to go to the other side of town in order to save here. You know, this is the first save I've had since I started recording. So it's been about an hour since I was able to save. We've done a lot. Believe it or not, we have done a lot. Might not seem it, but we have. Well, everybody, that'll do it for this part. When we come back from this, uh, I will probably have grinded up a little bit. And I probably will have a lot more money. But before I do any of that, we're going to show the cutscenes and everything else that has to offer in Underground Octum. Because Harry is here, so that means that everything must be perfectly fine, right? Right? I mean, what can possibly be here? Well, everybody, we'll see you in the next part. Take care, everyone, and be 